This video will show you how to use the speech to text tool that's part of your Chromebook settings. So first you wanna navigate to where you see the time in the lower right hand corner of your Chromebook screen. Then you wanna to go to where you see the snowflake. That's what I call it. Click on the little snowflake. All right, so I'm gonna click where it says advanced over here on the left after this long list, it's on the bottom. So click advanced. And then I'm going to click on accessibility here. So again, it's the last under advanced. So now I'm going to click on manage accessibility features. And I want to go to down here, enable dictation. So enable dictation means speaking to type. When you talk, it will do the typing for you. So I've turned it on. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and close that out. Now I'm gonna go into Seesaw. And I'm gonna um, just open up a fresh post. So I'm gonna click the plus sign to add. And I'm going to use the notepad first. Okay, so on my keyboard, I am pressing the magnifying glass and then the letter D at the same time. This is a test of speak to type, period. So when you pause, it turns off and you'll hear a little beep when it turns on and when it stops. So now, um, I put in my period, it didn't do it for me. And then I put in a space. So every time I, I want to start talking and have it type, I need to press the magnifying glass and the letter D. Whoops. I love using this tool because it makes typing a large paragraph really easy for me. Period. Okay. So that's one example of how you could use um, speak to text in notes. Now I'm gonna show you how to use it in a text box in the drawing canvas. And it's the same thing, you just have to remember, two fingers, <laughs> magnifying glass, letter D. Okay, so I'm gonna press on the T, which is the text tool, and it brings up this box for me. So again, I'm gonna use my fingers, I'm gonna press the magnifying glass, and, and you have to press them at the same time. Magnifying glass and letter D. This is a test of using the speak to text tool in Seesaw. There we go. And sometimes there will be mistakes, um, and you can just go ahead and delete it, but it's really fairly accurate. 